Hello everybody, this is J. Richard Varvel. Uh, it's about 10, just after 10 here uh, in Southern California. Um, uh, and I'm making one of my favorite night treats, fresh ginger tea. Uh, I cut it up on the, um, the cutting board and I cut off, you know, the kind of the not so nice pieces and then I dice it and then throw it into a pot, which I'm gonna show you. Hold on. Oh, well, I can't spin it around, so I'm going to show you. Oh, and then smell that. Mm. Delicious. Imagine the aroma going through your house. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you want it to just, uh, you want to bring it to a boil, and then you want it to uh, go for 30 minutes. Uh, you want to bring it to a boil, and then just set the fire to a simmer, and... Uh, and then let it simmer for 30 minutes or more, uh, but 30 minutes does the trick. And then um, get yourself a coffee cup, get yourself some really good uh, honey. Uh, and I like to put a nice big tablespoon uh, in, but you don't have to put that much if you don't want, but it just makes it nice and sweet and delicious. Uh, and it's just a great treat for grounding. It's great for digestion. And it uh, is also great for inflammation. I feel like um, uh, whenever I, I sometimes used to feel bloated, uh, I don't do, I don't feel bloated anymore. And uh, I feel like it just helps my digestion system feel good. And uh, it just helps me feel like uh, uh, it's like really good for grounding my energy uh, and grounding myself in my body. Uh, so I highly recommend it. There's so many healing and medicinal uses for ginger that you can find on the internet. That's just what I like about it. <laughs> so give it a try yourself and comment in and tell me if you have any questions or let me know if you try it and tell me how you, uh, what you think of it. All right, bye everybody. Surrounding everybody with a big, huge, giant hug of love. Until Monday at 11, see you then. Bye.